In the circles of classical contemporary music, 8th Blackbird has found a sound that has audiences listening. The Chicago-based sextet has been together for 11 seasons and recently performed here at the kitchen. The best way to describe it, I think, is that we play it's in the classical music genre, so we're playing classical music, but it's contemporary because it's all being written now. Not everything we do is serious or art music, and then that gets into a whole bunch of philosophical uh, discussions, but uh, I don't know. I kind of enjoy it when it's as loosely defined as it can be. And I found it was hard to hear you. I was right with you. And at the end of the bar, I have to rush to pick up. If the members of 8th Blackbird find it difficult to put into words what they've been able to put into music, it is simply because they are on the forefront of a genre that is constantly redefining itself. Classically trained at Oberlin Conservatory of Music, all the members learn to master their instruments through the compositions of the masters themselves. What we're doing now is so far removed from classical music in one sense, you know, it sounds nothing like Mozart, yet had Mozart not been around, this music would never exist either. A lot of what I'm doing is actually inside the piano, not just sitting at the keyboard playing. And in contemporary music, there is a lot of call for extended techniques on your instrument, so sometimes I have to, you know, put screws into the strings of the piano and it totally alters the timbre and it's like this whole arsenal of other, you know, sounds. And sometimes breaking tradition means non-traditional instruments. As composers reach beyond the classic sounds, 8th Blackbird seems to welcome the challenge to master devices not often seen in chamber music performances. <laughs> yes, we do have a violin and a cello and a lot of instruments you might find in an orchestra. And then we have, you know, whirly tubes that we're waving around and toy pianos and, and break drums from cars. And I think these are just the things that uh, the composers are picking up on. They want a certain sound, and this is what's going to give them that certain sound. It's a thunder tube. I think it's from a kid's catalog. The, the uh, composer gave it to me. You never know. Yeah. You never know what they're going to come up with. So it's cool. The ensemble's first commercial release, 13 Ways, was named a top 10 CD by Billboard magazine. The title, as well as the group's name, is based on the Wallace Stevens poem, 13 Ways of Looking at a Blackbird. Uh, We're trying to make an audience not fear this kind of music because I, I think that there is a, lot, a, a huge fear that people don't go to contemporary music concerts because they think it will be all squeak fart music and that they'll hate it. Through our own dedication and commitment to this music and, and through our performance style which tends to be towards the theatrical, I think we're really just trying to put that music out there in a way that can make people enjoy it. Eighth Blackbird has earned critical acclaim from the New York Times, the San Francisco Chronicle, and the Boston Globe. They have even gone beyond the music itself to incorporate other art forms into their concerts. We're constantly evolving. I think part of the excitement is we're not sure where it's going to end up. We're constantly being influenced by other artists and other people that we work with. I think uh, the interest in doing things with other people is just to explore the boundaries of that piece. How can we make this piece more interesting by involving other art forms? and how can we communicate the message of this piece. In the end, the members of 8th Blackbird seem most comfortable with letting the music speak for itself. It's not so much that I want people to get a, a deep understanding of the music. I don't think that's important or even necessarily possible even after one listening. I want them to be curious. I want them to enjoy it and ask questions and talk about it and come back for more and, and hopefully find it exciting and interesting. Blackbird's latest release is Strange Imaginary Animals.